<clears throat> I wrote down everything so I don't forget because I'm so easily distracted and so forgetful. Assalamualaikum and hi. So I have postponed recording this video for so long because I'm still insecure about my skin. I have been really busy with assignments and classes. I wasn't even sure if people wanted to see this video. Okay, so in November 2018, 18, November 2018, this was my skin condition. And um, at the time, I wasn't really concerned about the tiny bumps, the occasional pimples, and like the dark spots because I've always had them and they would eventually go away with the skincare that I was using. I had a solid skincare routine, okay? But in January 2019, my face decided to get worse. I started getting cystic acne, more bumps on my face, even more pimples, and the scars that used to go away in like a few days were still there after a few weeks. So even though this was my skin condition, I still wore makeup because I don't know, like I just felt like I could cover it up. Think Tira. From March and the following months, my face started to become worse. I had more bumps all around my face, especially my cheeks. And then I had purple bumps that would appear and hurt. They hurt my face and my feelings. <laughs> So things got worse for my face and for my self-confidence and self-esteem. So in mid-May, someone suggested that I talk to a Mary Kay consultant. So I talked to the Mary Kay Beauty consultant and she suggested me to try out the four products first. After using the Mary Kay products for a while, my face was getting better. I'm not gonna lie. I mean like my problems, like some of my problems did go away i mean like the problems of my face not my life the problems on my face did go away like the pimples were reducing the bumps were slowly like reducing yeah the mary Kay products that i purchased were already finishing and i didn't want to repurchase them because um they were taking too long for me personally i know good things don't come quick and easy in life but you have to understand <laughs> I meet people every single day and I didn't want to feel insecure any longer so that was when I decided to agree to my mom and meet a doctor. Around mid-July, I went to go meet here in Sabah and she gave me a full-on skin consultation like she really looked at my skin and um, after that consultation, we decided to like agree to buy her skincare products which were the cleanser serum acne gel and face wash mid july was when i had to change my habits i had to stop drinking sugary drinks no more bang bang brown sugar milk tea i had to stop eating oily food no more i am going mcd i had to start exercising Cool, 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 cool. And I could only drink plain water. My dad suggested that whenever I drank plain water, I had to like put in like madu kalulut in the water and drink it. Like I didn't think it would make much of a difference, but then like reading up, honey has a lot of health benefits for your insides and also for your outsides. So I listened to it. Dengar cakap orang tua guys. Alhamdulillah, my face got better around August, September. It got better. And like the only problems I had on my face were just like small small bumps and redness and dark spots from the past problems. Around October? September? Chichak! So I flew back to Semenanjung around October? September? I cannot remember. And I think that was when bumps started to reappear. Like I was so devastated you know like when you finally feel like your skin is getting better and then it just starts it just probably imagine ka? like my face was finally getting better like i finally had my self-confidence back and then it just decides to make me sad again 
I had to go to another skin consultation with the doctor there. Basically, I told him everything about... <clears throat> After the consultation, we decided to continue with the pills. I cannot remember the names. I am not good with names. I bought their products because my products were already finishing, kan? So, top up from their products. So, I got the cleanser, face mist, essence moisturizer thingy, um, SPF, sunblock, because that's very important, and acne gel, and the pills. I think that's all. It was... That was my October. And Alhamdulillah, my skin got so much better for November, December, January, and the months after that. November, I stopped eating the pills, but I continued to use the skincare products because like, I still had a lot left. In February, the products were finishing, and I decided that maybe I could find dupes in drugstores. And that's what I did. July 2020, this is my skin right now. Alhamdulillah, it's much better than how it was a year ago. I'm still trying to build a solid skincare routine. And maybe I'll do a skincare routine in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope my story has somehow given you hope that whatever you're going through right now, it will get better. So I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.